Hello viewers, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. So uh, in today's lesson, we have a question coming from uh, Cambridge, a GCSE, uh, Additional Maths 0606, 2023, uh, paper 2, and this is question paper number 23 of 2023. And this is question 6 of that particular paper. The question is saying, um, by the way, happy festival season. Uh, so the question paper is saying, I mean, the question is saying, the diagram shows the curve y is equal to 5e exponent 2x minus 3. Okay. The curve means the y-axis at the point A. And the tangent to the curve at point A means the x-axis at the point B. Find the length of AB. We don't know where B exactly is. So for us to get um, the, the, the length of AB, we are supposed to know the coordinates of both A and B. The coordinates of B. Uh, then we we'll use uh, the distance formula to calculate the length of the line AB. Okay, so now, what are we supposed to do? Let us first of all get the coordinates of A. Okay, so we need the coordinates of A and B. So let us first find the coordinates of A. So uh, the curve has an equation y is equal to 5 e to the power 2x minus 3. This is the equation of the curve. Now, take note that we want to get the coordinates of A and the coordinates of B. So for the coordinates of A, we know that at A, A is lying on the y-axis, okay? Meaning that the x-coordinate at A is going to be zero. So, at A, x is equal to zero. The x-coordinate is zero. So to know the y-coordinate, because this same point A is lying on the curve, it must satisfy this particular equation of the curve. So to know the y-coordinate in this equation where there's x, we put zero know the y coordinate of, of a. So we have y is going to be equal to 5 e to the power 2, then where there is x I'll put 0, then minus 3. Okay, then y is going to be equal to 5, this will be e to the power 0 minus 3, which will be equal to, what is e to the power 0? You know that uh, any variable or value exponent 0 will give you 1, so you have 1 times 5, which will just be 5 minus 3, which will be 2. Therefore, meaning that A has coordinates 0, because the x-coordinate is 0, and the y-coordinate is 2. So these are the coordinates of A. Now, let us get the coordinates of, of B. Okay? How do we get the coordinates of B? So, for us to get, maybe let me explain one thing here. For us to solve for the coordinates of B here, uh, we are supposed to know, okay, we know one fact, that it lies on the x-axis, implying that the y-coordinate there is zero. So we know that the y-coordinate is zero. But how do we get the x-coordinate? So for us to solve for this particular, uh, for the coordinates of B, we are supposed to come up with an equation connecting B and, uh, and, and A in this case. In short, let us form the equation of the tangent because we know that the tangent is passing through the point B. So let us obtain the equation of the tangent. And with the equation of the tangent, with the help of the equation of the tangent, we'll be able to solve for the coordinates of, uh, for the coordinate of Y or the Y coordinate, because, sorry, we'll be able to solve for the X coordinate because we know the Y coordinate at B. Because B is on the X axis, the Y coordinate is zero. So where there is uh, a y in the equation of the tangent, we'll put zero to know what the x coordinate is going to be. Then with the pair of coordinates of b and coordinates of a, we'll now uh, be able to get the length of a b. Now, uh, how can we obtain the equation of the tangent at this point? We know that at this point, coordinates are 0, 0,2, that we know. But what is the gradient at this point? So the gradient at this point is equal to the gradient of the curve at this particular point. 
okay? And this gradient of the curve will be equal to the gradient of the tangent because the tangent, the point of tangency is point A. So let us find the gradient of the curve at this point. So to find the gradient of the curve, we are going to differentiate the equation of the curve. So, the gradient of the curve at A is equal to the gradient of the tangent. Is equal to the gradient of the tangent. Okay, that's what we know. So let us get the gradient of the curve at A. So uh, we have the curve is y is equal to 5e to the power 2x minus 3. So let us get dy dx. How do we differentiate an exponential function? You know that when we differentiate a 3, it will give us 0 because this is a constant. So let us differentiate just this one here. So how do you differentiate the exponential function? So what you do is uh, the gradient, the derivative function of an exponential function. So given, let me maybe give you the general one. So given me that you have h of x being equal to e to the power g of x, then the derivative of h of x is going to be equal to the derivative of g of x times, uh, times h of x. Where in this case, you know, h of x is this function. So that's what we're going to use here. In this case, our h of x is the y, which is this one, this one here, and the g of x is 2x, okay? So in this case, g of x is equal to 2x, and h of x is equal to 5e e to the power 2x. So what is the derivative of g of x? When you differentiate 2x, you just get 2, okay? And h of x is already there, so meaning, this particular derivative will give us g prime of x, which is 2, then times what is g of x, it's this function that we are differentiating, because this is a constant, it will give us 0. So when you differentiate this, you have 5e e to the power 2x. So this will give us 10e e to the power 2x. Okay? So this is the derivative function of this particular exponential function. So, at, at A, where x is 0, then dy, it implies that dy dx is going to be equal to 10 e to the power 0, because x is 0. So, I'll put a 0 here, we will have 2 times 0, which will be 0, then e to the power 0 is 1, 1 times 10, uh, it will give you 10. Okay, so the gradient, the gradient of the curve at A is 10. Now, because A is the point of tangency, it means that the gradient of the curve at A will be equal to the gradient of the tangent at that point. Because this is a tangent which is starting from A and is crossing uh, the x-axis at B. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is the same uh, because it's a straight line. So the gradient of this tangent is 10. Now, we have coordinates of A. A has coordinates uh, 0, 0,2 and the gradient is equal to 10. So you, you can see that when you have a pair of coordinates and you have the gradient, you can form the equation. Okay? Uh, so let us form the equation of the tangent now. Let us now form the equation of the tangent. Let us now form the equation of the tangent so that uh, we can now use the same equation of the tangent to get the coordinates of P. So, the equation of the tangent At A will be, 
So we use uh, this formula you have y minus y naught being equal to gradient x minus x naught. Where in this case, in this case, our x naught comma y naught is equal to the coordinates of a, which is zero comma two, because this particular tangent is uh, is touching the curve at a. So the coordinates of a uh, is one of the a is one of the points lying on the on the curve. Okay. So we we'll have y minus y naught in this case is the y coordinate which is a two thing equal to the gradient is ten. Then you have x minus the x naught is a zero. So this will be y minus two giving us ten times x minus zero is x. So times x will give us ten x. So y is equal to ten x plus two. So this one we are given is the equation of the tangent, okay? This is the equation of the tangent. Now, because this tangent is passing through the x-axis at the point B, so at B, that's where it's passing through. So at B, you know that y is zero because on the x end point, which is on the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate will be zero. Uh, because that's the, actually the equation of the x-axis. So you put y0 here to get the x-coordinate. So you put a 0 being equal to 10 x plus 2. Okay, this will be 10 x plus 2 being equal to 0. 10 x will be equal to negative 2 divided by 10 divided by 10. You have x being equal to negative 1 over 5. So these are the coordinates of x. This is the x coordinate of, of point B. Okay, therefore, B has coordinates. B has coordinates um, negative 1 over 5, comma 0. Okay, so negative 1 over 5 is 0 0.5. So let's assume it's there. So this is the tangent that we have. Okay, that is the tangent that we have in that case. So this is negative one over five. These are the coordinates. Uh, these are the coordinates of B. So now let us get to the line AB because we have the coordinates. Uh, therefore, AB, the length of AB is going to be equal to the square root. You know the formula for getting the distance or length of a given line when two pair of uh, two points whose coordinates are known are given to you. So this will be x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared. That's what we use to get the length. Where x comma y are the coordinates of A and x1 comma y1 are the coordinates of B. Or you can switch, it's okay. Why you have x1 comma y1 are the coordinates of b and x comma y are the coordinates of a or x1 comma y1 are the coordinates of a and x comma y are the coordinates of b so in this case a b is going to be equal to the square root of what is x1 so i say x x is just the coordinates of the x coordinate of a which is zero so you have zero minus what is the x coordinate of b it is negative one so I have minus negative 1 over 5. Then this is squared plus what is the y coordinate of A? It is 2. Minus what is the y coordinate of B? It is 0. So you have AB will be equal to the square root of negative 1 times ne negative times negative 1 over 5. That will be 1 over 5 positive squared plus this will be 2. Uh, square. All right, so AB will be equal to the square root of 1 over 5 squared is 1 over 25 plus 2 squared is 4. Okay, then AB will be equal to the square root of 4, 1 over 25. Okay, 
this is approximately uh, this is 24 times 4 what is 24 25 times 4 will give you 25 times 4 will give you 100 so this will be what so square root of 101 over the square root of 25 is 5 okay so you can write this as a decimal number or you can leave it there as uh, a, 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 a root function or a root value or a radical number. Thank you so much. I hope and believe that you enjoyed the lesson. May God bless you all and have a blessed 2024. Thank you.